Here's how to create this silky smooth text trail animation all inside of After Effects. This works with any layer that has a transparent background. We will also look at utilizing pre-comps, so that different animations can be applied easily. First make a new composition. These are the settings I am using but feel free to change it to suit your needs. Add a solid with the shortcut Ctrl Y or Command Y for Mac users. Name it background and change the color to your liking. This works with dark backgrounds too. Now let's add some text. Zoom seems fitting for this. Center align the anchor point with Ctrl Alt Home or Command Alt Home for Mac users. Then center align the text to the composition like so. Now move the playhead to around 4 seconds. Use shortcut S to bring up the scale property and add a keyframe here. Drag the playhead to the start and change the scale to 0. Hold Shift and P to also bring up the position property. Add two keyframes at 4 seconds and one at the start. Move the playhead along a bit and move the text up. Move the playhead along some more and move the text down lower than the starting position. And the same again for the next keyframe, but moving up. In total, there should be three keyframes in the middle. The position values and keyframe positions don't have to be exact, so have a play with what works best for you to create a smooth motion. Easy ease all the keyframes by selecting them and pressing F9. Adjust the keyframe positions to your liking. Pre-compose the text and name it. Duplicate the text with Ctrl or Command D and name it Trail Back. Make sure the Trail Back pre-composition is selected, search for the echo effect and double-click it. Change the echo time to minus 0.008, number of echoes to 200. Decay to 0.97 and echo operator to maximum. As you can see, we're starting to build the long trail behind the text. Hide the top text layer for now. Add the color armor effect to the trail back layer. Toggle down input phase and change to alpha. Now we want to add the nice colors. You can choose from a selection of presets, but we'll go with a custom color palette that I've prepared. If you want to use the same colors, you can copy the color codes from the description. If you want a more intense effect, you can increase the cycle repetitions. Let's keep it at 1.5 for this. Unhide the front text pre-composition. Next duplicate trail back and rename it to trail front. Change the echo time to minus 0.018 number of echoes to 30, and decay to 0.88. Delete the color armor effect and add a fill effect. Here I'm using a darker shade than the front text, but feel free to experiment with this. Now for some subtle touches, but very necessary for the overall smoothness of the animation. As you can see, the edges are jagged. To solve this, add a Gaussian blur effect to the trail back pre-comp. Change the blurriness to 10. Next, add a levels effect. Change the channel to alpha. Drag the input white in and also the input black to sharpen the alpha channel. Something like this should do.
copy both of these effects with Ctrl or Command C and paste onto the text pre-comp. Much better, the edges are smooth and less jagged. So here's the great thing about this effect. All these three pre-comps have the same contents. That means we can change the animation within them to anything we like, and the effect will automatically update. Let's click on one of them to create a different animation. We'll go with more of a rotating motion. Duplicate the original text layer and hide it, so we don't lose it. Press U to bring up all the keyframes. Delete the position keyframes. Hit R to bring up the rotation property. Add a keyframe at 4 seconds. Add another keyframe to the start and change the value to 1. Drag the second rotation keyframe in slightly. Select both keyframes and right-click to choose keyframe velocity. Change both influence values to 60%. Now we have a nice smooth rotation motion. Head back to the main comp to view the results. Now let's add a texture. This one is free from sourcelab.shop. The link is in the description. Drag it in above everything. Scale to 50 or 40%. Add a repertile effect and change each value to 3000. Blend the borders up to 100%. Change the blending mode to screen. Let's also add a brightness and contrast effect to make it slightly more prominent. Add expressions to the rotation and position values like so. You can also find these in the description. This will generate a nice texture wiggle to emulate a subtle print effect. And there you have it, the silkiest, smoothest motion trail effect. You can also use this for logos, shapes, or whatever your heart desires as long as it has a transparent background. If you like this, and you want to find quick and easy ways to elevate your motion graphics, head to sourcelab.shop. We have a multitude of different high quality tools that will transform your projects and save you a bunch of time. Our newest tool, VHS Toolkit Pro contains five powerful retro tools to do all the work for you. Use the code YouTube15 to get 15% off. Your support is appreciated, and helps us continue to provide high-quality tutorials with tips and tricks along the way.